Hello, everyone. So, continuing the, the discussion from yesterday. So, we left off, there was, there was a very interesting question that we could ask. And it's like the, the result of, of, of all that we've been discussing. So, the Rizal said that, that statement, right, 500 years ago, that that anyone who keeps Pesach, Pes Passover, 100%, 100% kosher, that they won't come to sin. And we explained that that it maybe even is someone who's borderline, even for, or, or, or especially for someone, uh, for an intentional sin. This person still has free will, but someone who's borderline, it gives them an, an extra boost to overcome that. To overcome that t- that test to withstand the trial, and so we said that the the nature of the observance of, of Passover at the time that the Rizal said that had changed, and there was two stringencies that were that the Jewish people had taken upon themselves. One was the stringency of not eating kinyos of uh, lentils, of uh, legumes, legumes, and uh, the second one was not to have matzah shruya. Not to have have matzah dipped in uh, in water. So even though that the the the, the matzah is, is is cooked, but maybe there there is a, a little piece of flour that's not, and, and so um, so then if it, if it got wet, then it, then it could become chametz. Now, now the matzah we have now is is very thin and it's very highly highly unlikely that that would happen, but still it's. As we said, it's a ruch, it's just a kedusha, it's holy folly, which is always good to have. Um, in a, it's a good, it's a good thing to, to have uh, the proper amount of, of holy folly. Okay. So, but what, what happens uh, according to um, like the Chabad custom? It on the last day of Passover in um, in Chutzlar, it's outside of Israel. That we have, we are encouraged to dip the matzah in water. It's called matzah shruya, right? To, to dip it in water. So what happened? <laughs> During the first seven days, we were so careful not to get the matzah wet, and, not, and now we specifically, to uh, if we have uh, to have soup, everything, to dip it in water, to make make a point even, to dip it. This is from the, uh, from the Friedrich Rebbe, the previous Rebbe of Chabad. It made a point to, to do it on the last day of Pesach, of Passover. So, so it, there's something very instructive, and it also relates to Joseph. So Joseph was in the dungeon, was in prison for 10 years, and then he interpreted the dream of the, of the butler and the... Um, and the baker, and he was hoping that, uh, relying on them, hoping that, that they would inform the inform Pharaoh about the. Um, well, he would. Ho- he was hoping that the butler, who was going to be he reinstated, w- would inform Pharaoh of uh, of his positive, uh, correct uh, dream interpretation and, and get, put in a good word. The Pharaoh should, should should let Joseph out of uh, out of the dungeon because ten years had gone by, but uh, the, the the butler did not remember him, did not remember Joseph, and it was only two years later when the, when Pharaoh himself uh, needed to have his dream interpreted that uh, the butler remembered Joseph. So we learn from that that a person should not put their faith in anything but God, only to put one's faith in God. Okay, so he had to spend two, two, two more years in prison. So, so when we talk about the, uh, the, the, this isolation, this, this time that we're now living in, so there's a verse that uh, Rabbi Ginsberg brings in relation to this time. It's from, it's from Isaiah. It's uh, chapter 26, verse 20. Lechimi bo v'chadarecha 
the score de la scha baadacha chavi chimat rega ad yavar zaam. Go, my people, come into your chambers and close your door about you. Hide for but a, for but, but a moment until the wrath passes. So this is related to our time of uh, of uh, staying at home, right? So the value one second, I'm just going to bring this this is from a um, the, the Purim class of Rabbi Ginsburg. Okay, so Ami Bo Bechadrecha. Those those three words. My people come into your chambers, into your room. To your is is equal to to Corona. And Rabbi Ginsburg corresponds it to Das, to the sphere of of, of knowledge. And we're going to see this is this is very uh, very important. Okay, so back to, to Matashruya. So, so Rabbi Ginsburg explains in another class that we start off Passover with faith, with the Muna, and the experience during the last day of, of, of Passover, we have the Mashiach Suda, we have the, the meal of, of Mashiach, and this is like the time when we're, so to speak, already fully immersed. That Amuna is, our faith is fully immersed. Like in the prophecy from Isaiah, from another place in Isaiah, that the prophecy of, of Mashiach, that the, the knowledge of God will be filled, will fill the world like, like the water covers the ocean bed. So when we're dipping the matzah, this is like like dipping the, the, the matzah is the, as we talked about in previous in the previous video is the bread of of faith, of faith and healing, and we're dipping the matzah is is to, is a sign we're, we're symbolic of fully immersed in in das in, in the knowledge of God that it is completely permeates all of creation. Okay, so now we can go back to the experience of being being isolated. This is this is this is the, the meditation, the thought is is just that 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 God permeates all of all of reality and the knowledge of God in, in these times uh, before Mashiach permeates all of reality. And this is even even though we're uh, temporarily in in our respective rooms this is this is this is filled filled with with godliness and with the knowledge of god and it's not it starts off as faith but it comes down into into to knowledge and that knowledge fills the inner chambers of the heart which uh, so knowledge is the, the key that opens up this, this the, the six chambers of the heart, the six emotions. And specifically, cheder, room, Rabbi Ginsburg explains, stands for, for chesed, din, and, um, and rachamim. Loving kindness, judgment, and, uh, and, and mercy. These are the three attributes of the heart. Okay. So we're filling up the inner chamber of our, of our heart with 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 this awareness of the knowledge of, of, of God. So going back to Joseph. So he was he was uh, right. He isolated. He was in this dungeon for ten years, 
and he thought that maybe this is going to be his way out of the dungeon. Like now, everyone is looking for the time when the doors are going to open, so to speak, when when uh, the, the stay-at-home orders are going to be lifted and everyone can go back. But we have to we have to to know that 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 God has a plan for everything, and it will be revealed to each of us and all of us collectively in its proper time and to collectively emerge into into a, a, a new and better world to hopefully with, with Mashiach and with the redemption immediately. So when we say that that we that of course we look forward to come out to emerge, but not to go back to our the life as it was before, but to to a, to a better reality. And what was what was Joseph's better rectified reality? Is one where he put his his full faith in, in God. This enabled him to to um, interpret Pharaoh's dream, enabled him to have the courage to even give Pharaoh advice. He wasn't asked for advice; he was just inter- asked to, to uh, interpret his dream, advice of what to do, and in, in, phrase it in such a way that Pharaoh would then say, "Well, you're the. Is there anyone wiser as wise as you?" And uh, appointed him to to oversee all of this. So we we see from that is is that it, it comes from from his ability to be ready when the time came when when he was to go out of his room to, out of his dungeon, meaning that his his heart was 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 filled was filled with with his in his, in the service of of God. Through bringing down the faith into into, into knowledge, and, and the knowledge opening up the the key that opens up the six the six uh, channels, the six six pathways of the heart. So we talk about if you're in a room and it feels like locked in, right? how do we unlock? This is we unlock through through through, through this. Okay, so thank you very much. So how does it relate to the Arizal? We said that the, uh, originally the Arizal said in, in, in the, there was, there was these two, these two stringencies that the Jewish people took upon themselves. One was for Kenyos, not to eat the, um, the legumes, and the second one was Masa Shroya. So we, so th- this idea of coming into our, our isolating within a room is safeguarding shamor is a Shabbos consciousness. So we're safeguarded. So it's it's both relates to the observance of Shabbos and just to be fully. Fully um, uh, trusting in God to be to be protected and to be under under the the um, protection of the of the Shrina, of the divine presence. As we as we focus on as we meditate and as we think about how to reveal new light into the world through teaching the Torah of Mashiach. To, to make this world a dwelling place for God, and this this is something that uh, for, for sure we, we we should focus on always, but we can focus on on now specifically, given given this extra time that we have, and to again as we mentioned to connect and reach out to others, and spread spread the share the, spread spread the the awareness the, the teachings of the Torah of Mashiach. So. That's that's the, to connect it to, to that to connect it to uh, to the Rizal, which is now we're saying that the Rizal is said that we're safeguarded from 
if we're on the fence about perform about God forbid committing a, a sin, an intentional sin, to be safeguarded from that, and it, it now we're we're in fully ensconced, fully immersed in the knowledge of God, which is again related to to to, to Shabbos consciousness, to the divine presence, to to making this world a dwelling place for God. So it's all, it all comes together with in this generation to 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 bring down the full full revelation to reveal the light of the new light the light of Mashiach which is the the, the, the new revelations with, with the coming of the redemption thank you